Hello. Today we will be talking about sample preparation of powder samples for use in high vacuum analytical equipment such as a scanning electron microscope or a focused ion beam. Loose powders can cause serious issues with the instruments and even render them unusable or degrade their resolution. I will show you how to safely prepare a powder sample for these instruments to prevent damage. Let's get started. Samples should not be prepared in the same room as the high vacuum equipment. Ideally prepare the samples in your lab prior to analysis or in a fume hood. There are many methods that can be used to prepare powder samples and that preparation may depend on the information that you need. Let's begin with the easiest method which is used to look at just the morphology of the powder. This method involves putting the powder onto double-sided carbon conductive tape. First place a small piece of the double-sided tape onto the sample mount. Then peel away the backing. Sprinkle some of the powder over the tape. Take the sample and invert over a garbage can and tap the mount several times to remove loose powder. Use a hand blower or compressed gas to gently blow on the sample to further remove loose powder. This will remove any powder that is loosely adhered to the surface which may get sucked up into the chamber when the instrument begins to pump down. This will produce a dense packing of powder that is sufficient for general qualitative morphology. If image analysis is required for particle morphology and sizing, then you will want to have the particles more spread out so they are not touching. This requires a different method of preparation. The easiest method is the drop cast method. In this case the powder is diluted in a liquid. The suspension is then drawn into a transfer pipette and dropped onto the sample mount. It may take some practice to get the right dilution and drop height but it usually gives well separated particles. Before placing the sample in the instrument, use a bulb blower or compressed gas to make sure that loosely adhered particles are removed. Thank you. If you have any questions about preparing powder samples please contact the laboratory manager.